The purpose of doing a sadhana is to transmute or transform like elixir from mercury to gold, from that of a delusional mind to that of a wisdom mind. Each deity sadhana is appropriate for enlightenment and will bring you to enlightenment. But the difference is that the approach is different and that approach depends on one's own individualistic inclinations. If one is more lust-based, desire-based, hatred-based, then according to one's basis and one's immediate heaviest delusion, then one's yidam will be the one that counters the heaviest delusion, simultaneously purifying the other delusions in one go. Example, Lord Yamataka would be anger and deep ignorance. So Vajugini being the synthesis of Hiruka's practice, a shorter version, will be a counter to desire, lust, attachment, and using that method to become enlightened. So a sadhana is something that we do every single day. It's a practice manual. Using that combined with making offerings supreme and mundane to the deity as a method to collect merit, conjoined with meditations within our mind to control the winds, the drops, and the channels. So doing this sadhana, you are holding your vows that you get through initiation to stop doing further negative things. Then by this meditation, combined with making offerings, holding your vows and a secret power of mantra, when you combine it, such in the Vajra case, your attainments will be very fast.